Hey, what's up? My name is Shemi Bayhon. I'm studying at Philomar Christian University College of Computer Studies. My course is Bachelor of Science Information Technology, Section 2B. Our vlog today is part of networking. It's called Sesco Packet Tracer Crossover. Packet Tracer is a medium fidelity network capable simulation based learning environment for networking devices to design, configure, and troubleshoot computer networks at a CCNA level of complicity. Packet Tracer is an integrated simulation, visualization, collaborations, and assessment environment. Packet Tracer supports student and structure creation of simulation, visualization, and animation of network phenomena. This initial interface contains 10 components. If you are unsure of what particular interface item does, move your mouse over the items and a help balloon will explain the items. Number 1, menu bar. This bar provides the file, edit option, view tools, extensions, and help menus. You will find basic commands such as open save, save as PTZ, print, and reference in this menu. Access the activity wizard from extension menu. Number 2, main toolbar. This bar provides shortcut icons to the file and edit menu commands. The bar also provides button for copy, paste, undo, redo, zoom, the drawing, palette, and the custom devices dialog. On the right, you will also find the network information button, which you can use to enter and description for the current network or any text you wish to include. Common tools, this bar provides access to this commonly used workspace tools. Select move layout, place note, delete, Expect resize shape and add sim simple PDU and add complex PDU. Logical physical workspace and navigation bar. You can toggle between the physical workspace and the logical workspace with the tabs on this bar. Create a new cluster, move object, set tile, background, and viewport. In physical workspace, this bar allows you can navigate it. Through physical location, create new city, create new building, create a new closet, move object, apply a grid to the background, set background, and go to the working closet. Workspace. This area are where you will create your network with simulation and view many kinds of information and statistics. Real-time simulation on bar. Net power cycle devices and password time as well as play control buttons and the event list toggle button in simulation mode also it contains a clock that display the relative time in real time mode and simulation mode network component box it contains the device type selection box and device specific selection box Device type selection box. This box contains the type of devices and connection available in Packet Tracer. The device specific selection box will change depending on which type of device you choose. Device specific selection box. This box is where you choose specifically which devices you want to put in your network, which connection to make. Use Sir created. This window manages the packet you put in the network. Packet window. During simulation scenarios, see the simulation mode section for more details. You can freely resize the user created packet window or UCPW by placing the cursor near the left edge of the window. It will turn into a resize cursor and then drag the cursor left or right. 
packet tracer has two workspaces, lo logical and physical, and two modes, real-time and simulation. Up startup, you are in the logical workspace in real-time mode. You can build your network and see it run in real-time in this configuration. You can switch to simulation mode to run control network scenarios. You can also switch to the physical workspace to arrange the physical aspects such as allocation of your devices. Welcome to Packet Tracer. Research has shown that users who master a few basic tasks when first starting to use Packet Tracer get much more out of the software. This lab is designed the familiar is a user with Packet Tracer features. This activity should take approximately 30 minutes to complete. Use this direction to go through the lab use yourself or view the anim animated tutorial version of the lab. Number one, launch Packet Tracer. Open the help content by clicking help content of the menu bar. You can also click the question mark on the main toolbar. Another option is the F1 shortcut key. The menu will always be visible on the left side of the window while pushing through the help parts. The What's New section under introduction provides an overview of features that have been added to Packet Tracer. Pay close attention to the interface overview section under Getting Started to familiarize yourself with the Packet Tracer interface. Browse the tutorial section as well. Open the interface overview tutorial to learn the basic of the packet tracer. Graphical user interface. Note, some user may prevent the tutorial from playing. Configure your browser to allow active content to enable the viewing of the tutorial. When the first caption appears as shown below, click the pause button in the playback control. Click the forward button to skip to the next caption. Then click pause again. Click the back button to view the previous caption. Continue viewing the tutorial by pressing the play button. Click exit to close the tutorial window. Close the help co content as well as Creating a first network. Start creating a new network by first selection the end devices. Add a generic PC and a generic server to the workspace. Under connection, select the Cooper straight through the cable, turn it back, and connect the device within it. The red light on the link indicates that the connection is not working. Now, use the delete tool to remove the copper straight to the cable and use a copper crossover cable dash line instead. The light should turn green at this point. If the mouse pointer is held over either device, the link status will be shown as up. The network should look similar to this. Click the PC while paying attention to the link lights turn the power on off and on again. Follow the same step for the server. The link light turn red when the device is off. This means that the link is down or not working. The link lights turn green when the device is turned back on.
try out three ways to learn about the devices. First, mouse over the device to see basic configuration. Information about them. Second, click each device with the selection tool to show the device configure window which provides. Several ways to configure the device. Third, use the inspect tool to view the tables the network device while build as learn about the network around it. Open the PC configure window and change the setting using the config tab. Change the display name, the client, and set the DNS server to 192.168.0105. Under interface, click Fast Ethernet and set the IP address as 192.168.0110. Packet Tracer automatically calculates other parameters. Make sure that the port status box is checked. Go to Desktop, tab and click on IP Configuration. Notice that the IP address, subnet, mask, and DNS server can be changed here as well. Open the server configuration window and go to the config tab. Change the display name to web server. Click fast Ethernet and set the IP address as 192.168.0105. Make sure that the port status is also on. Click DNS and set the domain name as www.firstlab.com. Reposition the network device by dragging them to, net, to new location. Add a network description by using the I button on the upper right corner. Then add some text label within the logical workspace by using the place node tool. Load a background grid using the set tile background button. Save your work using file save as option and create a meaningful file name. That's all.
there's that. Says DHCP change to five. Check again. Open. Type I two twenty. Same way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 